Well, the morning routine of heading to work and to school took a turn for an 11 year old girl and her family. That girl had to fight off a robber and defend her family. Dallas police say the man was trying to steal her mother's purse. Fox 4's James Rose is at the Dallas Police Department. And earlier, James, I know you had the chance to talk to that brave little girl, her sister, her mom. What everybody have to say? Well, you know, the mother tells me initially she thought the suspect had a knife, but even so, she really wasn't willing to give up her purse with everything in it. And apparently, neither was her 11-year-old daughter. So, so scary. I'm scared tomorrow. I'm scared the, the other days. Janet, as she wants to be called, is still shaken. She doesn't want her face shown, but gives a terrifying account of what happened right in the front yard of her Oak Cliff home and right in front of her two daughters. Her 14-year-old daughter was the first to see the man in the pre-dawn darkness. He went like this, and what did that mean to you? Um, to not scream or say anything or like not do anything. And then I just got back and started screaming cause, because I didn't know him, and he was tall and scared me. As the 14-year-old screamed, the 11-year-old sister who wants to be called Alejandra jumped into action. And then he was right here, and I was like, I got him, I got him like that, and then I got him, and then I threw him over there. And I'm screaming, help me, somebody help me. He got my mom's purse and started pulling her purse, but my mom didn't want to let it go, so and then he started dragging my sister and my mom. He got me from my hand, and then he dragged me all the way over here. All the way over here to this tree. I was going like that, like, to, like, for he won't take me. So I think he said that I was like slowing him down and then he went like that and then I fell to the floor. Alejandro then followed the man to his car and tried to get his license plate. What do you think about your little sister here? She was brave. <laughs> I don't think I would have done that. The criminal got away with Janet's purse and Alejandro just has minor bruises and scratches. She says she heard the lady screaming. Neighbor Gracie Gann says she's seen suspicious people lurking around the neighborhood. I'm scared, that's what. I'm scared and I hope that whoever did that, this, that they catch him. Now, Dallas police are actively investigating this case tonight. They are asking for the public's help if anyone knows of a gray SUV, a small gray SUV. They're still working on the suspect's description. They hope to have that nailed down perhaps uh, as soon as tomorrow to give you something more to work on. But that small gray SUV has a real difficult time starting. So uh, that's something they want you to keep in mind. And uh, the mother told me she thinks she's seen that suspect in that neighborhood before. So again, Dallas police are asking anyone that might have any information about this man to please call police. Pay attention. All right. Rose, live tonight. Thank you.